You're watching Kim Tanana on KTMB 9 News at 10. Even if you can handle the ride, you can get hurt. From a sharp fin to a bad fall, surfers share what they've learned the hard way. The best surfers in the world have gathered on Oahu's North Shore for the winter season. They know those tempting waves are also treacherous. Every year, dozens of surfers are injured, some seriously. But there are some things everyone can do to protect themselves. Brooks Bear gives us a look. Whether the waves are big or small, everyone who surfs is taking a calculated risk. The vast majority of surf sessions end peacefully, but once in a while, a bad wipeout or a collision with another surfer results in injury. I thought I was blind because I couldn't see out of one eye. It was mid-September. The South Shore was getting rocked by high surf. Mike Anchetta was one of many recreational surfers taking advantage of the swell. When the board slipped out of my hands as I went over the falls, apparently I met the tip of my board going over and it hit my, just an inch below my eye. The nose of Anchetta's board ripped a hole in his face and damaged his eye. I could stick my baby finger through the eyelid on the bottom and it, that was very gory. Anchetta isn't alone. Surfers from all over the country share their painful surf stories on a website called surfcohawaii.com. It felt like someone took a claw hammer and smashed it into my nose. The design of the fen gave me a laceration in two places at once, cutting my posterior tendon. While in the wash, I felt my fin slice clean through the arch of my foot. Now, one of the worst ones I saw was a guy that the fin came up and literally went right into his cheek like this. Surf co-founder David Skidelsky designs products to prevent injuries. The first was the nose guard or diamond tip. What it does is when you when you get struck by the tip of your board, instead of getting hit by a hard fiberglass pointed shape, it actually absorbs the energy reducing injury. It's like flesh against flesh versus fiberglass against flesh. Surfco also manufactures a variety of soft edged fins called ProTech. Our theory was that we could take a standard uh, surfboard fin, put some type of edge around it similar to a nose guard that would certainly reduce injuries. These apples will help us illustrate the difference between traditional skegs and the ProTech soft edge skegs. That's a sharp skeg, but put Protec fins on the same board and it takes a lot more effort to slice the apple. I like it a lot better because it's safer and it makes me surf just a little bit more crazier again because I know it's safe. <laughs> Mike Anchetta now uses the soft edge skegs and a diamond tip on his board. He's back in the water, patched up by ophthalmologist Malcolm Ng. Ng is also an avid surfer, and when he's out, he always uses special sunglasses. They have shatterproof lenses to prevent puncture wounds, and they provide protection from the damaging effects of the sun. It's two ways it can bother you. It can cause a pterygium, which is a growth on the surface, and it can cause a cataract, which is a lens opacity inside the eye, and that knocks your vision down. All right. To demonstrate how we put them on, just put them on like this, and then there's a little strap in the back, and you just tighten it like this, so it's nice and tight. And it's very comfortable. In fact, pretty cool. Surf sunglasses, flexible fins, and soft tips. Three things that can save your skin the next time you take on Mother Nature. Brooks Bear, KGMB 9 News.